Hello this is Captain Vaughn and welcome to another video. But before I start this video I would just like to say that this vessel is Fanon, and is therefore not part of the Star Wars universe in any way officially. This vessel was simply created by a fan, but I still think it's cool, and would like to review it. Anyway now to the video, today's topic is the TR-140 tanker, or more simply known as the Corellion tanker. The Corellion tanker was a fairly large tanker built by Corellion Engineering Corporation that was used all throughout the galaxy over nearly a century, between the events of the Clone Wars and at least up until the Battle of Exegol, where at least one of these ships were present, and the vessel was used so commonly because of one advantage it had over other tankers of its era, its heavy armament, which was incredibly impressive for a ship of its size. And especially for a tanker, this combined with its reliability and modifiable hull made it one of the best tankers in the galaxy. In addition the vessel was actually quite compact, which was both an advantage and a disadvantage for the tanker, as its small size did allow it to land in places other tankers couldn't, but did limit its capacity, preventing it from fueling larger vessels, and the tanker was forced into a brief period of nullification during the Galactic Civil War, as the Empire forced vessels of its kind to be unarmed, if they were to be used legally. Anyway now to the stats, the Corellion tanker was roughly 34 meters long and it was equipped with shielding. In addition the vessel could go at speeds of up to 1000 km per hour, and it was equipped with a class 2 and a backup class 13 hyperdrive. The Corellion tanker was equipped with rather heavy armament, for a ship of its size, as it was equipped with two dual heavy laser cannon turrets and one ball mounted laser cannon. The Corellion tanker could be operated by a minimum crew of one, though it required a crew of three in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry four passengers, 100 metric tons of fuel, and one month's worth of consumables. The Corellion tanker was manufactured by Corellion Engineering Corporation, and it would have cost 120,000 credits new. Now to my personal opinion, overall I believe that this vessel was probably the best tanker you could afford, as it had heavy armament and even shielding. And I really cannot stress enough how important armament and shielding is for a vessel like this, as it was a massive target, as well as extremely combustible, since it was carrying all that fuel though I would have liked to see something like this upscaled, so it could be more effective. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.